Hello, welcome to Slamming by Hala. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining me for Make It Monday. I apologise that my voice is a little bit croaky today. I am still a month on, still full of a cold. I have a terrible tickly cough and I do have a mug of coffee nearby. So if I suddenly stop talking, that'll be why. Although I don't. I'm not envisaging that happening. Can, can you see me not talking? I can't. So I have got a quick card for you today using my one of my favourites in the annual catalogue. This is picture perfect and I love the, um, the layered um, stamping but I'm not doing stamp layering today. Um, I'm going to do something slightly different. I have got a uh, what's it called? My brain isn't working either. My voice isn't working, my brain's not working. Peekaboo peach card base and mattes in basic black and this is our um oh what's it called it's sparkly paper anyway um it's i don't know how i can see that it's got glitter sort of embedded in it it's completely smooth it's great for stamping on but it's sparkly <laughs> love that as always um if you click over to my blog the link is in the down bar below there will be a link directly to this blog post and there'll be all the products there listed. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and um, I would really appreciate the um, the business, to be honest. Right, excuse me. <coughs> Coughing and spluttering, still. Um, I, yeah, I sell these products and I would really appreciate um, anything you'd like to send my way. Love you. So, this is um, a really quick and easy, simple card. And I have done this before, I've shown this technique before, but it appeared in one of our most recent Stamping Up magazines. And as a demonstrator, um, we get a magazine from Stamping Up four times a year, once a quarter. And we've just had, a couple, oh, about a month ago, the most recent magazine. And this technique was featured in it. And I thought, I love that. I haven't done it for ages, so I'm going to give it a go. So I've got my... Um, Oh, it's going to drive me mad what that's called. Anyway, I've got a piece of paper. Now, you could use either this, because it's a bit thicker than Whisper White. Thick Whisper White or watercolour paper. I've got a clear block in size C, which is my favourite. And I've got two ink pads. I've got one in Peekaboo Peach and one in Flirty Flamingo. I'm going to open them up. I love this. It's so simple. And I'm going to um, take my block and I'm going to put half of it onto my um, flirty from ink pad. So I've got ink directly on my block. I turn my ink pad round and I'm going to do the same into my Peekaboo Peach ink pad. So I've got ink all over. So it's now all over the block. You see that? It's so pretty. I'm going to close these ink pads up because otherwise I'll put my elbow in them or the cat will suddenly decide that she wants to be on the table. I've then got a Stampin' Spritzer. And I'm just going to very gently mist over um, with a bit of water. Not very much, just a little bit. Don't want it too runny. And I'm going to stamp this down. I'm going to stamp with the pink on the top and the peekaboo peach underneath. Like that. Try and get it sort of central. Straight down, straight up. Isn't that so pretty? So, so pretty. Love that. I'm going to leave that give that a moment to dry won't take very long because there's not a lot of water on it if you put the more water you put on the um obviously the more the ink will spread um and you might get some ink that kind of comes out of the, out of the square and i didn't want that this time so i've also then got the second half or the second stamp for the um sea creature Oh, can you tell my brain isn't working at all? And I've got a sentiment. i my basic black ink pad. Starfish, that's what it is. It's a starfish. Oh, dear, you know. It's been one of those weeks this week. Um, I'm filming this on the Sunday night before you see this on the Monday, as usual. And um, my, my week has been rather busy. I've done 9 to 5 Monday to Friday. And then I did a 13 hour day yesterday. So my brain is well and truly mush. I'm going to put the starfish down kind of often kind of yeah off to one side um like that in basic black and i'm going to ink the sentiment up in the same and this ink, even if if this is still a bit wet this ink won't move because it is um water resistant so it will still give you a perfectly stamped image 
not really like soaking soaking wet but if it's a little bit damp and then we're just gonna layer it up and isn't that really cool i think i'm actually gonna have to add a couple of um enamel shapes onto this i'm gonna get it layered up and i'm gonna have a look i have got a bit of an enamel shape so shape obsession at the moment anybody else just a little bit obsessed they're so pretty and i'm gonna lay this up completely flat you could put dimensionals in between but i'm gonna keep this one really flat um, and easy to post so like that and i've got my enamel shapes oh i keep a stack of like favorite stamps on one on my desk every time i pick this case up it falls over um, that one i think and I'm going to grab the one of the hearts and I'm going to just pop that down just there. And that is my super simple, very quick, six minutes. Oh my goodness, I haven't waffled at all. Um, quick Make It Monday card for you today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Um, I don't know if you remember a few weeks ago, I put a gift away up for our 1,000 subscribers and I am so happy to announce that I have announced the winner. If you go over, check out my Facebook page. The link is in the down below. You'll be able to see it down there. I have contacted the winner uh, by replying on her comment. Um, and I hope that she has responded to me by now. Because um, I've got... This is not 24 hours ahead. Um, but um, if you haven't contacted me and, and you left a comment on that, um, on that video, go over and check it again. Um, and... I hope to be sending that lovely box of goodies out to you really soon. Thank you ever so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.